Hi kids, today we are going to learn five ways of how to compare fractions. And the five ways are looking at the diagram, checking if they have the same denominator, checking if they have the same numerator, comparing to half, or using equivalent to find the same denominator. Here we go. The first method that we learn to compare fractions is to look at diagrams. In this question, we have 3 fourths and 4 fifths. Now, if you are given a picture or a diagram showing the fractions, all you need to do is to look at the amount and compare it. You need to imagine in your head that you are comparing it, like putting it one on top of each other and which one is more. As you can see, the green one is more. And so, 4 fifths is more than 3 fourths and 3 fourths is less than 4 fifths. The second method we learn to compare fractions is by checking if they have the same denominator. For example, if I have 4 6 and 2 6, which fraction is bigger and which fraction is smaller? As you can see, they have the same denominator. What does a denominator of 6 mean? It means that the whole is cut into 6 equal parts. Now, we have 6 here too, which means that the whole is also cut into 6 equal parts. That means these parts are the same size. Having the same denominator means that the parts are the same size. Now, if they are the same size, if I have 4 pieces of 6 versus 2 pieces of 6, I can tell that 4 pieces will be more than 2 pieces of 6. So 4 6 is the bigger fraction and 2 6 is the smaller fraction. The third way which we learn to compare fractions is by checking if they have the same numerator. For example, 2 6 and 2 tenth. This is tenth and these are six. The numerator tells me I have two pieces of six and this means I have two pieces of tens. Now, when they have different denominators, it means that the parts are not the same size. A denominator of six means that the whole is cut into six equal pieces. A denominator of 10 means that the whole is cut into 10 equal pieces. Now, if I cut the whole into more pieces, the pieces are smaller in size. I repeat, if a whole is cut into more pieces, 10 parts, each part will be smaller. So 10s are smaller parts than 6. Now, 6 are bigger than 10. Now, if I have 2 pieces of 10 compared with 2 pieces of 6, obviously, 2 pieces of 6 will be bigger than 2 pieces of 10. So, this is the greater fraction and this is the smaller fraction. Now, the fourth method that we learn to compare fractions is to compare to half. And this is by far my favourite method because it requires very little working and some people can even do it in their heads. So let me give you an example. If I have 5 twelfths and 6 tenths, and I want to compare these two fractions, which one is greater and which one is smaller? Now let's start with 5 twelfths. When we compare this to half, 1 half is equivalent to what twelfths? 1 half is equivalent to 6 twelfths. Now, I have 5 twelfths, and I compare 5 twelfths to 6 twelfths. 5 twelfths is less. Therefore, 5 twelfths is less than half. So, I'm going to put a L. Now, 6 tenths. Now, if I have 10 equal parts, half would be 5 tenths. But now, I have 6 tenths. 6 tenths is more than 5 tenths. Therefore, 6 tenths is more than 1 half. So this is more than half. 
Now, if I draw a number line and put half there, 5, 12 is less than half, so I'm going to put it on the left side of the number line because numbers that are on the left are smaller and the numbers get bigger. So, 5, 12 will be on this side. And 6 tenths is more than half, so it will be on the right side of 1 half. So when we compare these two, 6 tenths is the bigger fraction because it's on the right side of the number line. And 5 twelve is the smaller fraction because it's on the left side of the number line. Now the last method that we learned to compare fractions is using equivalent fractions to find the same denominator. Now, I'll give you an example, 3 fourths and 5 6. Now, we want to compare these two fractions. They do not have the same denominator. They do not have the same numerator. Compared to half, this is more than half. And this is also more than half. So, I cannot use the first three methods and they didn't give me a diagram either so I cannot even use the first four methods that I've learned and I need to use this last method which is equivalent fractions. Now I want to make them have the same denominator. Now which denominator should I choose? I'm going to use equivalent. Remember equivalent fractions are fractions with different names but show the same amount. Now if I don't know which denominator to choose, I'm going to skip count in four and I'm also going to skip count in 6. Okay, so I skip count in 4, and I'm going to skip count in 6. Can you find the common number here? Can you see they both can go to 12? Okay, so I'm going to choose 12 as the denominator that is common. Yep. Now, how do I get the equivalent 5, 6 into something 12s? I do that by multiplying by 2 below and on top. In the denominator and in the numerator, 6 times 2 will give me 12. 5 times 2 will give me 10. Remember that these two fractions have the same value because they are equivalent. They show the same amount. They just have a different name. Instead of calling it 5, 6, I can call it 10, 12. Now this side, how do we get from 3 fourths to something 12s? I'm also going to multiply by, I'm going to multiply by 3, right? 4 times 3 is 12. I need to multiply the same number on top to get equivalent. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 twelfths. Now, 9 twelfths and 10 twelfths. 10 twelfths is more than 9 twelfths. So 5, 6 is more than three-fourths. And we are done.